Hey, it's Dave Kendall, senior reporter and producer at the Bangkok Post. And right now I'm going to premiere a clip from the new Deeper Dive podcast and invite you to participate in a Facebook Live Q&A session. Thailand is a hub for wildlife smuggling. And on the new episode of our Deeper Dive podcast, I talk to Steve Galster, founder of the anti-trafficking organization Freeland. About 100 species of plants and animals die out forever every day. And not only does the wildlife trade fuel the mass extinction, it could also cause the next pandemic. Steve will be taking your questions on Facebook Live on Monday, December 18th at 12.30 p.m. Thai time. And you can also get your questions in early in the comments section below. You can see my full interview with Steve in the latest episode of Deeper Dive. Just click the link below to watch it on Spotify or listen to it by searching for Deeper Dive Thailand wherever you get your podcasts. Right now, let's take a look at a clip from the vodcast where Steve talks about why so many animals, birds and reptiles are smuggled through Thailand, particularly the critically endangered pangolin. Your 2019 report identified Thailand as a hub for wildlife trafficking. Why is that? Thailand has historically been a hub for wildlife trafficking, both legal and illegal trade. <clears throat> it's got a better infrastructure than other countries in the region, so it can get product from source to market, from Africa, from Indonesia to China. So it's just historically placed with a lot of uh, businessmen based in Bangkok in particular, uh, who know the supply chain and have set them up over decades. And that supply chain, give me a typical example of one of those supply chains. Sure. Uh, for example, there are supply chains going through Thailand that specialize in pangolins, the scaling anteater, the most heavily trafficked mammal in the world. Traditionally, they would have gotten those three decades from Thailand itself, a couple of neighboring countries like Malaysia and Cambodia. They have been vacuumed up at such a high rate that those supply chains now extend over into Africa and other areas. And so they will gather the animals, alive or dead, transshipment through uh, Thailand to the main destination, which will be China. And they'll do that either through Laos and Vietnam or circuitously through Cambodia. Okay, and some of them are coming from Indonesia and Malaysia, or are they mainly coming from Africa now? They, it's a mix uh, from Indonesia and Malaysia and Africa, but very few, if any, are coming actually from within uh, the lower Mekong, which is where they were coming from before. Okay, so the pangolin is coming across the border, say, from Myanmar or from Malaysia. And then how is it being trafficked through Thailand? So the pangolins are being uh, usually trucked over the border, uh, hidden in other cargo, from usually from Malaysia. But they're also coming in by boat now uh, from Indonesia, sometimes from Malaysia, and increasingly all the way from uh, southern and eastern Africa, and even from Nigeria. So, and these will be in the form of mainly dead animals or already broken down into the scales. The big demand for pangolins is really their scales. And that demand is mainly in China? Yeah, the demand person for person, dollar for dollar is coming from mainland China. But there's quite a demand for pangolin meat and scales also in some other countries, uh, particularly in, in Vietnam. We're finding it in demand in Laos, parts of Thailand as well, Cambodia, Myanmar. And why are the scales, what are they used for? Why are they so valuable? The scales are like a precursor in traditional Chinese medicine, an activator. So you'll add pangolin scales, you'll grind it up and add it to all kinds of other traditional Chinese medicines to supposedly make them more uh, potent to activate them. That was a clip from the latest episode of the Bangkok Post vodcast, Deeper Dive. Please watch, follow and share the pod 
by clicking the link below or by searching for Deeper Dive Thailand wherever you get your podcasts. And don't miss our Facebook Live Q&A with Freelan founder Steve Galster on Monday, December 18th at 12.30 p.m. Thai time. You can write some questions for Steve right now in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you on Monday.